I'm definitely not saying don't go big, but I'm saying you don't have to go big to have a big influence on a 500 year time scale. So that allows you to trust what is mine to do in that situation. And, you know, perhaps you have a history and gifts and, and resources that, that answer the question, what is mine to do in a way? Yeah. I want to do this big program. Like, you know, I mean, I, I have my, my gifts are I'm good with words and I perceive patterns. So I'm a writer and, and a speaker and that, but that's not because I made some calculation. Well, in order to have a big impact, I better do this. It's just the uh, natural expression of my particular circumstances and gifts. You ask, well, who is the most important person in the history of South Africa? Most people would say it was Nelson Mandela, uh, who s almost single-handedly, it seemed, uh, turned a timeline that would have been toward vengeance and bloodshed toward one of peace. Uh, and, and, and wow, what an incredible human being. Thank God for Nelson Mandela. However, if we ask the story, what is it like to be you? We might discover that the reason that he was able to hold peace through all those decades in prison, and I'm making this up, okay, I actually don't know that much about Nelson Mandela, but maybe it was because of his grandmother who poured so much love into him when he was little that it gave him that inner resource. So maybe the most important person in the history of South Africa was Nelson Mandela's grandmother. So basically what I'm saying here is that Nelson Mandela's grandmother, her circumstances and gifts were perfectly placed to have a big effect. And all she had to do was to step into that gift into her, which was motivated by love. So I'm not saying, well, he should have just, you know, been, you know, a doting father. No, like his circumstances and gifts made him a great leader. We cannot see him as more important than everybody who made him who he was. And so like this, this, this teaching really is just to liberate us, to trust what our heart tells us is ours to do.